Ryan, and we are doing some compositing. Yay! When you have a character to composite, you can't always use a classic line art and color art filters. And while they work great for uh, most paperless animation, you see, color, line art, this is perfect. Uh, sometimes when you work with more complex rig, it'll be a bit harder. Let me just show you right here. I can get my color just fine, but the line art is sometimes an issue. Because you will get these little um, lines getting in on top of each other. You have an easy way to solve this. If you're working with paperless animation or a very simple rig, uh, you can use the flatten option and it works very well. But for some things, it's not going to work. So in this rig, I have some lines that appear on the overlay. So we'll also need to have um, an overlay layer. And while we think this solves the solution, you still have the problem that the overlay will be on top of everything. And you know, it's a nightmare. Like, I don't want to deal with any of that. So if you have a complex rig or you need to get, I don't know, the little pink pattern here, I will show you another method to extract a part of your character. And this is called the line splitter method. So let me get rid of all of this. And we'll start fresh. So as usual, since I'm doing compositing on a rig, I will want to use a composite set to bitmap and put it right under the rig or the part of the rig I want to work with. And this is because most rigs are made with pass-through composites. So when you try to put an effect on it, it's going to affect every piece separately. So I'm just going to get a new composite, connect it here, set it to bitmap. And now everything will work. All right. So now we're ready to start. You'll see it's very easy to do. It's not, it's not a complex technique. You just have to know it. <laughs> so color override, your new best friend. Uh, it's a, it is a quite a complex uh, node to get used to. But for simple things like selecting colors, it's pretty darn great. So let me just connect it to my character and you need to get all your colors to the other side. So you click on your palette, you select all your colors and then you press on the triangle to let them pass. Once they're out there, you just select all of them and turn them black. Now what we're going to do with that color variety is actually create a mask with our character. So I'm going to turn it all black and only the things I consider my uh, line art or the things I want to use I will set them to be white. So this shows how important it is to give the right names to your colors. So for me, everything with an L up front is a line, so it's very easy to uh, see. And even if I have two of the same color, I will do one that is the line and one that is the fill, because if you want to do compositing like that, you don't know which one you will need to use in any given situation. So I'm going to take my line colors, which is my main, I need my beak, and my tongue, and then I will Click on the eyedropper and set them all to white. There you go. Now, just to, to give a little heads up, I didn't include that part of the character, this line, because I consider it my color art. Even though it's on the line art for reasons, uh, I consider it to be inside my character, so I don't want it. So that's why I didn't take it, okay? So then we have a black and white mask of our character. All you need to do now is get a grayscale node that should be hiding somewhere here. Yeah, great scale, there you are. And just connect it to your character. And be sure to set it to matte output. And the matte output will actually remove all the black of uh, the picture. So now what you have left is your line art. If you want to isolate your color art, now 99% of the time, uh, just getting a color art layer will do the trick. It's usually just the line that is a bit more complex to work. And to do that, you will just take a little cutter. Where is my cutter? I lost it. Cutter. Put it on your character. And here you go. You have your line here and your color art. Or just your character with your line on top. So this is a good way to isolate something of your character. Now, if I didn't want my line and I wanted some, something else, then you can just change it. And instead of getting my line, now what I'll put in white is actually the little pink detail on my character. And now this is what I have here. And it's great because uh, the other colors are cutting uh, your little detail. So that's why it's very, very precise. Uh, it's a very precise technique. All right, so I hope you liked this little method and I really hope it's gonna help you in your projects. So uh, with that, stay creative, stay crazy, and have a nice day.